all right what's going on everybody we're gonna make a, another video here uh kind of showing how to repair slash replace this input jack here um this is a friend of mine's amplifier he said that he was learning guitar and playing um and it came with the guitar pack that he got and then uh one day he went to go push the the quarter inch in and it went through so um if you have a similar problem then you can watch this video and see if it'll help you okay so first we're going to take off all the screws here on the back um and so yeah it's just basically just going to use the phillips standard um one i have a double action double ratcheting screwdriver so we'll get this going Okay, so I had to get a really thin screwdriver to get that out um, and get in there and pry it. Now, I did have a little bit of damage, but I could probably go through and mark these with Sharpie so that they're not as visible. Uh, you can kind of see the inside of this here, it looks like. Yeah, so this is where you would plug in your cable, and I'll try to resecure it definitely better than how it came out of the factory here's the locking nut or supposedly a locking nut <laughs> that's supposed to keep that kind of stuff from happening but um i'm going to try a different method for fastening it to here to the hole uh see that hole there um so i'm going to try a different method for fastening it here so that way it doesn't come loose again it looks like they even had glue in place too crazy but the biggest problem was the nut which i don't think he had that's on the outside that holds it um that needs to have some sort of lock to it okay so this is the part of the video where i admit that i was wrong about uh thinking this was a little easier than i thought it would be um <clears throat> this is plastic which i knew that going in but what i didn't see was i didn't really get to look at it up close and see how stripped it is uh so even if I found a nut that would fit on it, uh, it would just, it wouldn't hold. So, that being said, I have a guitar um, input knob that fit in the hole. Like one that you'd find, that you'd have on a Strat or something like that. Um, I have that in there. Uh, I just happen to have one of those lying around. And then I figured out which one of these was ground by, because it's just a, chip that goes in there and it's white is ground so i'm going to hook up the white wire to the ground of that and then the black wire um to the tip and then uh it'll be a hardwired thing and i can tighten this down and not have to worry about it wow this became a wiry junky mess real fast <laughs> um <clears throat> all right sorry about the noise it's the dehumidifier in the background as you can see i have the input jack soldered in place and I tighten it down um, and the best way I like doing that is I get a socket yours doesn't have to be a deep socket like this it can be one of the smaller ones um, and then I hold it over top of it and then I'll twist it now with this you make sure you want to make sure that you hold the back somehow and for holding the back I just like grab some uh, some pliers and just held the back with some pliers 
Um, careful to not rip or mess up any of the wiring that I just did. But anyway, I'm going to plug it up real fast, make sure, test it, make sure it works. And then uh, I'll put the back back on and then let you guys hear it. All right, I got it mic'd up there on the ground uh, with a Sennheiser, I uh, can't remember, whatever. Um, and I that's the settings that I have it at. It works because I can plug in with my guitar and everything else worked fine. So um, yeah, I'll just do a little sound demo because this is fun and then I'll put it all back together and give it back to my friend. Alright, and lastly, um, I just thought I'd uh, say the last few things I did as I put it back together. Uh, I colored in the little nick marks with Sharpie, just so that way they don't stand out. Um, and then I dusted and cleaned off the top with some isopropyl alcohol um, and a microfiber cloth. And then cleaned the knobs and the Marshall icon thing or decal or whatever this is. Um, and then the bottom here and and the reason why I do that is you know, I just it, I think it's always nice to return things in a nicer condition than when you got them and and I think it'll be a really nice treat for this guy um, and I'm always trying to do my best and Help people out and and they see you know, I try to work like I'm working for Jesus. So <laughs> um, But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you um, know what to do with your input jack and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.